Hi, my name's Liam. My name is Eli. We're going to be starting you on your journey as a web developer. Whether you've got experience with websites or you're starting out completely, you'll find everything you want to know in this course. We'll be covering the basics of hosting, domain names, as well as the fun stuff like coding different frameworks, for example, Bootstrap and Angular, as well as teaching the theory behind how websites and, in addition to that, programming functions work. You'll create projects like e-commerce sites to show your family and friends improving your knowledge. Our aim here is to teach you to make these projects, not just show you how to. The goal here is for you to be able to do this on your own. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want, you're going to, want to do is you're going to want to sign up for a GitHub account. GitHub is like the social network, the Facebook of programmers and developers. Once you've done that, we're going to go over here and click this plus button in the top right corner if you're on PC. You're then going to click the new repository button. You can call this repository whatever you want. I recommend just calling something simple. For example, my first website. You can create, give a description. You can, create, you can make it public or private. If it's private, only you and whoever you want to can see this repository. I recommend adding a readme file and choosing the license. This allows you to uh, basically control or regulate what can and can't be done on this folder or repository. And adding your readme file allows you to clone the folder directly to your computer, allowing you to get started on the website immediately. I would have a number of apps from the GitHub marketplace that I use, but you don't have to use these. Since I've already created the repository prior to creating this video, I'm just going to be going to mark the tab of my repositories. And I'll be going to web types. The link in the description is uh, github.com slash gizmatron slash web types, and this has the entire course. We're starting off with the coming soon page. This coming soon page is going to be very important in teaching you how Bootstrap works. After we do this, we create new folders which act as new projects. We're creating e commerce sites, we'll be creating membership sites, we'll be creating subscription stores. We're creating these with different uh, frameworks such as Bootstrap, Angular, and React. Once you've created this folder, I recommend going to this link and clicking the uh, clicking the code and clicking Open with Code Spaces or Open with GitHub Desktop. We're going to click Open with Code Spaces. Code Spaces is effectively a tool like Visual Studio Code in your web browser. It's a collaboration between Visual Studio and GitHub and allows you to have your own developing environment in your web browser. All the extensions that you use with Visual Studio Code will become available with GitHub Code Spaces. This is a closed beta program. It's quite new, it's quite cool, and I'd recommend once you sign up for GitHub, try and get involved in as many beta programs as possible. There is no danger to getting involved with these beta programs as they have been tried and tested numerous times before you create before GitHub allows regular users to join the beta. This is the first time I've ever used GitHub code spaces, so it will take a while. And it will take a while for you as well if you're setting up GitHub code spaces for the first time. Let me reiterate that our aim here is to show you and explain to you how to create your own website so that you can do it on your own. We want every step to be as straightforward and simple as possible. We will be starting off with predefined and pre-written templates and code so as to minimize the amount of work and the learning curve that you will be undertaking. However, do not, do not think that you will not be able to understand that you will, that you will not understand how to make a website completely but because of this. As we continue, we'll be going over the different languages and script and scripting languages such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript so that you can understand how websites work, you can debug your own websites, and progress as a web developer. Let's go <coughs> around that. Let's go to the coming soon folder. We're going to open the image version 2 folder. We are also we're going to copy this. This is we this is basically the code for our coming soon page, but we are then going to go into the main directory, create a new folder, and call it index.html. Index.html is basically the uh, the primary file, the, the main file on, on a website. This is this is, I guess, the you call it the home page. 
this is the first page that gets loaded. If you if your website address is mywebsite.com and you go to mywebsite.com, it will load in the index.html file. Let's copy and paste the code in from image-version-2.html and let's see what we've got here. Closing the terminal, we'll see that we've got this file. That's the first step done. Once you've completed this step and, and created a file called index.html in the web touch folder, you're ready for the next step. We'll see you then.